Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1 My father threw me out of the house at 15 for coming out as gay. I'm now 21 and happily married to the boyfriend I wanted to introduce to him when I was 15. On my wedding day, my father had an invitation to his wedding hand delivered to me by one of those hide delivery people. I don't know what they're called. His wedding date? My anniversary of when I started dating my husband. Both dates he knew because of my uncle. Not an a-hole, just sent a message to the wrong person. I threw the invitation away and didn't even think about it until my aunt, his sister, reached out and told me he wanted to talk and apologize for everything and that he wanted me to be at his wedding. I told her that I would consider it and talked to my husband about it. He's the one who convinced me to go and said we should just see what he says. We drove down a day early and my father basically avoided us all day. I know weddings are a busy time, but every time we tried to speak to him, he had to go somewhere. And then he said he'd talk to me after the wedding. The problem with this was that their reception wasn't supposed to end until 2 and they had flight for 3.30 to their honeymoon, so I knew he wouldn't be able to talk to me. Then me and my husband were going to leave the reception as soon as was appropriate to go around our hometown to places we haunted in high school when we first started dating. Because my father's wedding was held in the morning, we thought we could celebrate our anniversary in the afternoon and evening. I informed him of this and he said that he would just call me when he could then. That's when I realized none of his fiancé's family or his fiancé had any idea that he had thrown me out and that he had told them I moved away for college. I gathered this through talking to his fiancé and his family. I objected because I realized that this man was in love with my father but my father had lied to him and I felt like he deserved to know before they got married. I apologized and then explained the situation and then left. A lot of my family members said I was an a-hole and that I could have waited until they got married. But I don't think the fiancé deserved to marry someone who lied about something so big. Especially something that was homophobic and they are a homosexual couple. Edit. I objected before the ceremony even started. The morning of the wedding when the fiancé asked me about college, I was like, uh, I've never been to college. That's when I realized what my father had done. So I told him at breakfast before we had even left for the venue. Edit 2. My father sent his wedding invitation to my wedding, my actual wedding. The anniversary that his wedding date was on was the date I started dating my husband. My uncle was asking if we had picked a date because we were going back and forth between two dates and he and his family were the only ones coming from out of town. He asked my father instead of me. The two dates were the anniversary of when we had started dating and the anniversary of when we said I love you for the first time. Cheesy I know, deal with me. My father knew the significance of the dates because of the way my uncle worded his message. The other two languages I speak are French and Italian. I had never met the fiancé nor his family until the day before the wedding and only briefly. I didn't really sit down and talk to any of them until the morning of the ceremony. I only heard the fallout through my aunt because I left with my husband. But apparently my father and his ex-fiancé got into a massive argument and the wedding was called off. I don't speak to either parties now, though I did message the fiancé on Facebook to apologize later that day because I felt bad about ruining his wedding but he said he was glad that I told him. Not the a-hole OP. At first I was like, well, maybe he was dealing with this repressed sexuality. But the fact he not only hid what he did, lied about his fiancé and their family, but actively avoided you at the wedding, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't want to apologize at all. He just wanted you there to prove something to his fiancé. Like, look, my gay son came to the wedding. Clearly we're on good terms. The whole I'll call you after and avoidance when he invited you there specifically to apologize really gave me red flag vibes. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole considering how heinous what he did to you was. I don't think it was wrong for his new family to know. They can choose what to do with that information. Also screw him for choosing his wedding to be on your anniversary. As if he could find any other way to screw you over than trying to overshadow your own anniversary with his. 
not the a-hole. Kicking your own child out for being homosexual is definitely something you should tell your partner you intend to marry once you come out of the closet. That's a huge bombshell to come to light the morning of the wedding. It's unfair to the fiancé and it's unfair to the son. There was a lot of time to reach out before the wedding and your father chose not to do so and just naively thought you would go along with this lie, the subject wouldn't come up or you wouldn't actually show and your father would still get to be the celebrated groom on his wedding day. Not the a-hole, but one mistake you made was not talking this through before the wedding day. In hindsight, the clues were there, you were a prop. Weddings are not places for resolving drama, either you explode or he was hoping you'd suppress it. Of course he wouldn't have time for an apology. You probably shouldn't have accepted that invite until he gave you a sincere apology. And not an apology like, I'm sorry you were upset, but I'm sorry I failed as a father by throwing you out while you were legally a minor. Because of who you were, it was a cowardly, ignorant and selfish thing to do. And I do not deserve to call myself a man or a parent. That sort of apology. Yeah, go no contact. Don't bother with him until you get something both heartfelt and utterly groveling from him. Story 2 I, 29 female, do not get along with my brother, 38 male. He and I disagree about many things. However, I adore my nephew, 17. My nephew hangs out at my house a lot, and so does his boyfriend. My brother doesn't know my nephew is bisexual. Well, recently, my nephew called me to pick him up because he and his boyfriend were at a party and both got drunk. I picked them up, gave them water, made them drink it, and then let them pass out in the guest room. My husband thinks I crossed a line by letting both boys sleep here in the same bed. I think he's being ridiculous. They were passed out. They weren't doing anything. I kept them safe. In the morning, we all had breakfast. I gave them aspirin, and I teased my nephew about his first hangover. Then he and his boyfriend hung out playing video games for a few hours before they both went to their separate houses. My husband wants me to promise to tell my brother if something like this happens again, but I refuse. I think I handled things perfectly well. My nephew will be a legal adult in four months. Why should I blow up his relationship with his dad? For what? My husband says I'm putting him in an impossible situation. I get that asking him to lie to my brother is kind of shitty, but he could just not talk to him instead. My brother is really obnoxious, so why not just do that? Information. My husband thinks my brother should know about my nephew and his boyfriend. He also thinks my brother should know about the drinking, but is kind of over that part. Husband is worried that the boys will do something and that my nephew will get in trouble. Because he's the older of the two. He wants to talk to my brother and have the whole family sit down together and talk. Not the a -hole up here. Good for you for providing a safe and accepting space for your nephew. When teens don't have a space like this, they end up in dangerous situations. As far as your husband, it's your brother. He isn't lying and should let things be between you siblings. It also would not be your or your husband's place to give your nephew to your brother. You made sure your nephew and his friends were safe with a family member after a party. I don't see an issue. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole, because you're giving your nephew a safe and accepting place to go. I would hate to see you blow up your relationship with your nephew along with his entire life. Meet your husband halfway and don't let them sleep in the same room until both are legal adults. Not the a-hole. Your husband wants to put your nephew against his will, which is not okay. That is major a-hole behavior. Now regarding the false, in my opinion, concern over your nephew being older than his boyfriend, Depending on the age difference, you should look up the laws for your area and make sure your nephew is aware of them for his own protection. Most states have common sense laws, but I think a couple are wacky. I'm trying to think of this through the viewpoint of how I would handle this with my own teenage nephew. And even though I am completely aware his parents would be fully accepting of any partner he had, I still wouldn't out him to them. That's his story to tell, whatever it may be. And whenever he chose to tell them, I would probably tell them about the drinking. But once again, they would just be happy I picked him up and let him crash and he was safe. If you don't have a good relationship with your brother, OP, I would say less information is better and be a safe place for your nephew. Story 3 
So there's this woman I work with who gave birth two months ago and she's constantly bragging about it. I'm not kidding you when I say she talks about her pregnancy experience and a newborn every single day. The other day she was, once again, talking about how many hours she was in labor and how hard it is being a mom. And I jokingly said, you know a dog can give birth too. She didn't find it funny at all. And she has given me the cold shoulder for the past couple of days. I kind of feel bad about it, but I just got tired of it. I'm a woman too if that makes it any better. Am I the a-hole? Now for some comments. Dude, being a mom is a huge accomplishment. You're willing to put your body through crazy physical changes for nine months to allow a baby to grow healthily and join human society, hopefully as an amazing person. I joke about it, but it is a seriously impressive milestone. For you to dismiss her instead of walking away was childish. Also a dog? Really? I'm going to give you 10 minutes to think about why that was hella offensive. I'll wait. Verdict, you're the a-hole. You're the a-hole. Postpartum is a thing and you aren't kind. I'm sure it's annoying, but rather than being annoyed with her for clearly missing her child and coming to terms with the hardships of motherhood, be annoyed with your workspace. If you're going off the a dog can give birth bullshit, then yeah. And in most states, it's illegal to separate a dog from its litter before eight weeks. Maybe you should be angry that your workplace isn't fairly compensating new parents with paid maternity leave and that would fix two issues. Yes, newborns are difficult. Motherhood is challenging. I get that you were tired of repeatedly hearing her mom-related talk. But she has been through a massive milestone in her life by becoming a mom for the first time. It occupies her mind. She is excited. She's stressed. She's adapting to her new life. It means that she has a plethora of things to talk, ask, tell and hear about. It's plain excitement. And more importantly, it doesn't harm you in any way. You shouldn't have compared her to a dog. It interprets like she did something beastly and simple. You're downplaying her difficulties and belittling her exciting experience.